<laughs> I'm trying to figure out what I'm even supposed to call this video. Um, there's, there's a lot to it. I think some of you that watch this will find this beneficial. So I'll, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to make it. I, I learned a lot in it. And this is, this is my filing that we're testing that you'll be watching. So it's based off of my filing, really. Everybody files differently. The concepts are the same, but everybody's different. So everybody has their own little quirks and techniques on this stuff. The test I wanted to do is there was a comment made. I just have to say it in, in, in a video of mine. And it just made me think I had never done it before. I've never put the two chains next to each other and actually saw which one cuts faster. And that is, we're going to go on, I'm going to call this the Mythbuster 2 video, is I want to see if this is a myth. Do Does it matter to have mismatched teeth or not? to have a faster cutting saw. It would matter to me in some ways, but I wanna see, is there a difference? And which difference is it? Which one does cut faster? Is it maybe the mismatched one cuts faster? Maybe the one that's filed exactly the same cuts faster. If it is faster, how much faster is it? Is it even something to look into? Does I mean, are we talking a lot, a significant amount, or not? So I do it. On this video, I spent a lot of time hand filing. I'm running 3 8 050, full skip, full chisel, organ chain. I have a stock chain right off the roll. Never been touched. I have a chain that I call a 43 raker chain, and I filed it 43 times, which put it about right in the middle of the tooth profile. Filed it exactly the same. Every time I filed, I use my raker gauge. So it's all filed right, the way at least that I file it. Then I have what I call the Mythbuster chain. It's a chain that we used on the last video to break that myth about uneven teeth, will it cut crooked or not? It didn't. So I thought it fitting to call it the Myth Buster Chain. I have the Myth, Bu myth Buster Chain 1 and Myth Buster Chain 2 because the 1 is just so... It would never... You'd never run it. It's got new cutters on one side and cutters that are at the wear bar on the other. It's just an oddball chain. You would never run that chain. So I file it back more symmetrical, but the teeth are noticeably different. But it'd be something that I would walk out the door with. I'd have no problem running that chain. And then I have the wear bar chain, and we put these all together. I put them side by side in this video, and we see which one cuts the fastest. And I'll tell you what, it surprised me but that's all I'm going to say because I spent some time on it. So watch the video and you might like it. I think you'll, think you'll enjoy it. Okay, so here's the chain that we ran the other day. We're just going to run this in the test. Since this is the Mythbuster chain. Hey, you little rascals. I'm trying to make a video here. Pipe it down. <laughs> Yeah, whatever. So these, this is the chain that it was filed down aggressively. On the one side, some of them I missed, but pretty much all on the right side were filed down pretty much close to the wear bar. The other side hardly didn't even touch. Just did, just did a few strokes, all the same though. So we're gonna run this chain, time it, this is the Mythbuster chain for if mismatched teeth will cause your saw to cut crooked. So I figured why not uh, use this 
just uh, this uh, this chain to see if it cuts the fastest out of this out of this test. So we'll try it here. I'm gonna position the camera and then we'll we'll start it back up. Okay, here we go. Maybe two cuts with it. Okay, so now this is our next chain. This is the organ skip stock. I haven't touched them, haven't touched the rakers, haven't touched the teeth, straight out of the box. We'll see how this cuts. Get your set up here. That last one I cut the footage and some people might, oh, you've tampered with it. So we keep this one rolling for everybody. And I'm not really centered on that log. That's a little bit better for everybody, I think. There we go. Okay. Stock chain. <laughs> I'm glad, <laughs> I'm really glad that I can file sharper than a stock chain. I've never gone side by side with them like that, but yeah, I was a little worried there for a second. I always told people I could, and I've never, never, I always felt they were faster, never measured them. That was noticeably slower. <clears throat> okay. So. Okay. So here we have this chain. This chain is exactly the same length at 43 strokes, so we're half the half the tooth down, half of the way back on the tooth profile. Every single one of them is exactly the same. I made sure of it. Uh, as close as I can get exact. <laughs> so, we'll run this one now. See how she runs. <clears throat> Trying to do the best as running the saws I can is being as consistent. It is kind of four stroke in there. <laughs> Buster, you, 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 you let me down, man. We got to go to the second cut. This can't be happening. <laughs> Don't 
get excited just yet. We take this other one down, Mythbuster 1, and we turn him into Mythbuster 2. Still uneven, but I would never run a chain the way that I did. Has a full cutter on one side and no cutter on the other. No one would ever run that in the wood. That was to see if it cut in a straight line. Still lost, but now I file it down to where I'd, 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 I'd have it in my box as a spare. I'd have it as my saw, as my number one cutting chain. Let's see what happens now. They're all mismatched, but all the rakers are set at the same. So we're gonna see how this guy cuts. I did touch it up from going on that cottonwood the other day because it, it's pretty dirty stuff. Um, it was pretty dirty stuff. Kids are playing in the truck, that's hilarious. Okay, let's see what we do here. I guess that's why I did this test to see what was the fastest. And this myth is not is not bustable. It is not a myth. If you file your teeth the same, exactly the same, your saw will cut faster. Bottom line. Yes, it is minuscule. It doesn't matter though, as far as it cutting faster. There's a lot of thought behind, will I change my filing? No, it, it, it's, not, it's not enough of a difference to where I'll save time doing this. I'll lose time filing the same strokes. If I'm out in the wood and cutting, I'm, I'm not gonna count my strokes, I, I waste time. If I was racing saws, I'd have to do this. I'd lose every time if I didn't, but it was interesting to see. Yeah, I'm surprised. Did not think that was gonna happen. Okay, here we go, last chain. And it's all down, been filed pretty similarly all the way down to the uh, wear bar. <laughs> so now I take the chain. There's still more to this. I take the chain and I file it back to the wear bars, all of it. Not exactly the same, close enough, pretty darn close. Didn't count my strokes, but I was paying attention to see, they were a little off, not much. Will a stock chain versus a filed chain, somewhat filed, let's say a little bit, halfway three quarters to completely filed back all the way to the wear bars does it matter do they cut different which one cuts the fastest i have i know which one will make your bets because you might be surprised and it might not be what you think but we race all the chains now against what I call the wear bar chain. This one's filed all the way back to the wear bars. And this is interesting. It's worth a watch. Wear bar chain, that's what we're gonna call her. Let's get this set up. Let's cut our last one. <sighs>
recap. Counting your strokes will make your saw cut faster. Very almost unnoticeable to me, but it still does. The one thing that I did notice that I didn't mention in the beginning or throughout the video is running the stock chain and the 43 chain. They were the smoothest chains by far throughout all the other ones. There is less vibration and it just fed better. It, it's just hard to describe. It just, it was just smoother. I don't think I'll change my filing. I know I won't. But it was interesting to see now what it actually does now since I've done it. Playing around with this, counting your strokes. I can now say to somebody, I, I, I think I would still tell the average person that you don't need to count your strokes. It doesn't make it it doesn't make enough of a difference to matter. But for somebody that is racing saws, that's not out in the woods or doing this as a firewood cutter, but they're doing something hot shot, this would matter. Bug on me. This would matter. So I hope you liked it. I thought it was pretty awesome. In the end, the wear bar chain beat them all. How about that? That's interesting. That's another for another video of why does the wear bar chain cut faster than the rest of them when the rakers are still adjusted the same? Something about geometry on that one. Pretty cool though, that the farther you go back, that chain starts to liven up and it almost livens up too much when you get to those wear bars. Pretty cool, pretty cool stuff, at least to me. So, hope you guys are having a good day. And if you made it this far, congratulations, because it probably was pretty damn boring. <laughs>